guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a tough week. I filmed several videos. I had camera issues. I'm in my new studio space, and if you guys watched my home life vlog, you know that we put flooring in instead of carpet in the upstairs and in my studio. And so if you hear an echo in the audio, that's why, because I don't have my area rug in yet. It actually comes in this week. So bear with me with the sound. Hopefully the echo will lessen once I have um, an area rug. But anyway, the tripod <laughs> slipped on the floor and fell over right on my lens and the autofocus broke off the little tab and so it was autofocusing in the videos four videos and it was just like click 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 the whole time and I couldn't stand hearing it so I know you guys probably wouldn't be able to stand hearing it so I had to scrap them all. There's pros and cons to this. Almost every single video I think three out of the four were first impressions. Since then I've been really using the products so I have a well-rounded review for you now instead of a first impression I can really give you my opinion on what I think about the products. So Today, we're going to be reviewing the Mallywood Collection from Mally Beauty. I have lots of thoughts on these products. Unfortunately, the original packaging I no longer have, but I'm going to insert clips so you guys can see what they look like. They had a beautiful pink sleeve on the outside and then Python packaging. The packaging is just beautiful. And then, as you can see on the outside, or inside, whichever, however you want to look at it. The packaging is pink with faded glitter. These letters are kind of bubble and they're glitter. And it's just pink and glittery and beautiful. And I'm so obsessed. This, I mean, it's just, the packaging is just insane. I had never used Mally Beauty products before. This was the first time I've ever tried the brand, so I really didn't have any expectations. I didn't know what to expect. I had never seen the brand even reviewed on YouTube. So first impression, I was like, this packaging is blowing my mind. Products in themselves live up to the packaging. I mean, they their products are definitely amazing. I have been using them for like two weeks now and I love them. Without further ado, if you guys would like to see my review on the Mally Beauty Mallywood collection, then keep on watching. Okay, so the first product that I want to talk about is the Mallywood Eyeshadow Palette. When you open it up, this is what it looks like. Now, this shade up here broke in the mail. There was a plastic covering over it though, so I didn't lose any of the product, and I pressed it down with my finger to just try to salvage it. I think it was a very loosely pressed pigment because it's the most shimmery shade in the palette. So I just pressed it in and it was fine after that. But these colors, very warm, just so pretty. You get two mattes, three satins, two shimmers, and a pigment, I wanna say. I'm just guessing just by like looking at the shades. This is my, th these are my colors. I mean, this is a, an amazing palette like I could take this traveling and just use this and you can make day looks with this you can make smoky night looks I created this eye look with this palette this is my jam right here this red cranberry toned shade I am obsessed I love it this color here actually was the only one that was a tiny bit of a disappointment to me I mean you really have to build it up to get the level of pigment that you would think that that would be right on for a swipe. I mean, it's so foiled that you would think that it would just come out and blow your mind, and it doesn't. But that being said, I think the nature of this palette, just by playing around with it, it's very user-friendly. So if you're somebody who's kind of intimidated by a palette like this with a lot of colors, or you don't like those like 15 shade eyeshadow palettes because you're just like, I don't even know how to apply all those. You'll like this. There are six eyeshadow shades and then a contour and a highlight shade, but I use them as eyeshadows, all of them, because the contour shade is the only shade that you can really tr use as a transition. And then 
This color here, the highlight shade, I have it in the inner quarter. That is so pigmented that you don't need to wet your brush and you do not need to cut your crease. Like I did all of this crease with that color dry on a concealer brush. Like it is amazing. That said, I actually ended up going in a little heavy handed with this brown because I didn't tap off my brush and I was able to blend it out so easily which makes a palette like this and all the shades like that they blend out really really easy even if you apply too much which makes them very user friendly so you can't really mess it up you know what I mean like they're just you can play around if you go too much you just blend it out but if you want something super super bold you just gotta work at building it a little bit so the only color that I noticed can go on pretty heavy is the brown one even this one here I built that up for a couple minutes but the shades are not patchy at all it's not like the kind of palette where like it's not pigmented and you're like oh it's pigmented but it, it, it allows you to really build the color to where you want to I mean the best way to apply shadow is to start with a little bit and build and build and build and it's almost like the shadow forces you to do that you know what I mean so anyway I really loved this I thought she did such a great job I love the formula I love this color selection and the packaging is just so pretty I mean just gorgeous it's, it's packaging it's everything next up we have the Waza Waza ombre highlighting trio I don't know about that name, but the packaging is the same. On the back, it gives you instructions on how to use it. It actually gives you a step one, two, and three. We have a cream shade here. This is called soft. And then we have medium and we have strong. Now, on the back, the instructions say that you take the creamy low-level shimmer, which is soft, and you apply it to your cheekbones and anywhere that you want a more natural glow. I will say that I was a little intimidated by the cream because I had powder on, but when I applied it over the powder, it just melted right in. It didn't shift anything, it didn't move anything around. I just applied it with my ring finger, tapped it in, beautiful. It gives you that like glisteny glow, like almost if you put like a lip balm on, but like a little more shimmery. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, it's, it was just really, really pretty, but it gives you that like lit within softer glow that's not super heavy highlighty. Step two says, next take medium and apply that to the top of the cream. Once you do that, it'll pop and you'll get more of that highlight glow, but it's just like stronger because you're layering a powder over a cream and that always kind of makes it pop a little bit more. And finally, if you want that super wet, glowy, beautiful, in your face, see you from space highlight, you take strong and it says you put that on the highest points of the ombre and then it says for a tip on quick days you can certainly use these one at a time or just customize the glue that you want. I have them all on right now like can you see how like wet and glowy that looks but like straight on it's not too much I have it on my nose I have it everywhere really I have it above the brow so that when you turn the head you can kind of see. Same thing on this side. Like, you see that C? Woo! It's so, so pretty. But it's not so obnoxious. Like, oh my god, that girl like went overboard on her highlight. Like, it's just beautiful. And because this is a Hollywood collection, it just makes me think the point that she wanted and I don't know because I didn't talk to her, but I'm just thinking that she wanted that Hollywood glamour where it's your beauty but better, you know? Like just, if you, I mean, when do you ever see like a cut crease and a like super sharp winged liner on the red carpet, you know? When you look at a red carpet, you see more of that like natural makeup where they, it looks like they woke up like this, you know? And that seems to be that, like, Hollywood look. My thought is, is that's what she was going for with this collection. But you have the ability to make it what you want. So you can build it up and make it really stand out if that's what you're into. That's what I'm into. Or you can kind of tone it down if you just want that Hollywood glamour. So there's something for everybody in this collection. Like, you, anybody 
can use this and create a look that they'll love. So next up we have the highlighting blush. This is what the packaging looks like. It's very sturdy. It's very heavy. It's, it's luxurious. It's substantial, you know? This is not cheap packaging. And then you open it up and this is what it looks like. Now when I opened it up, I was like, what? This is like a deep purple and then a magenta and a bright pink and then a light pink and then you have like a rose gold highlight and then a gold like champagne gold highlight and I'm like what like I don't know what it's a blush so I just went in swirled my brush around and let me tell you what I haven't seen a blush that I loved this much in such a long time it just gives the most natural rosy glow just fresh faced no one's gonna look at your face and go oh what color blush are you wearing it just looks like it's you like fresh faced and and healthy and radiant and just like your cheeks are full of color and full of life you know it's not blush looking I don't know if I'm making any sense but is gorgeous is what I'm trying to tell you if you're like somebody who's like I don't really like blush but I like to look a little bit more alive so sometimes I go in with a light you will love this it's very like natural it is very rare for me to go on and on and on about a blush like I like blush there are some blushes that I prefer over others I can get a blush and be like, oh, this is a good blush. But I never, like, gush over a blush. You know what I mean? But this one, you need this. And this collection is limited edition, so yeah, want to get your hands on this blush. I, I think it will look good on any skin tone. And then you can use the individual colors if you want because this highlight is pretty on its own. You know, so if you wanted to use this for an inner corner highlight, you could. I just think as a blush, like this is, it's beautiful. It's, you need this. And then lastly, we have the Smoky Mama Mascara. This is what the packaging looks like. It has this beautiful glitter top, the same pink packaging with the gold letters. Here's what the wand looks like. So I want to just tell you that the first time I shot the video where it was like a first impression, this mascara blew my mind so much that I didn't even put false lashes on in that video. I looked like I had Demi Wispies on and all I did was this mascara. This is a really, really, really good mascara, you guys. And I'm the first one to say like, you don't need to spend a lot of money on a mascara. The drugstore has awesome mascaras, very little money, that stand up to some of the most high-end mascaras. But this mascara is totally worth grabbing. I was not ready for the level. This gives you length, it gives you volume, it separates. It just made me literally look like I was wearing Demi Wispies. So, I'm going to see if I have a clip from that day that I shot it without lashes so you guys can see because I am wearing lashes today. But I cannot say enough good things about this mascara. I am so 100 obsessed with this product. As I said, this is a limited edition collection. So I'm going to give you a little bit of information. The entire collection is exclusive to Ulta. The eyeshadow palette is $29. The blush is $28. The mascara is $20, and the highlighting palette is $32. I think that the eyeshadow palette is, that's a reasonable price for that. Normally I would say $28 for a blush is too much, but this, no. No, no, no. Not only is the packaging just so stunning, but like look at the pan size on this. Like you'll have this blush forever. It's, this blush is totally... 100 you need it so then the mascara is 20 bucks that's that's normal for a high-end mascara and it's awesome and then $32 for the highlight you get three different highlighters two powders and a cream the pan sizes are a little small they're like a large eyeshadow size 
However, I feel like you're still gonna have these for a long time. I mean, think about the biggest highlighter pans, how long it takes you to go through those, and you have three of these. So I still think it's, it's worth it. So all in all, this collection was a hit. I loved it all. There were no misses here for me. They were all really good, which I'm pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. It was definitely a great way for me to be introduced to this brand. I'm excited to try more things out from this brand. I'm excited to learn more about this brand. If you guys have tried things from Mally Beauty, leave me a comment. Let me know like what products are good. What should I try next? Things you recommend, things that you don't like. Give me some feedback. Let me know your thoughts. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on social. I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. My handle is at Glam Latte. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.